New Jersey state beaches and parks remain closed as New Jersey's budget battle continues. Governor Chris Christie is calling lawmakers back to work to pass a budget so he can end a shutdown. Now, this news reporter Trang Dell is live at Parvin State Park in Pittsgrove Township, which is off limits during the stalemate. Trang, good morning. This couldn't have come at a worse time. Yeah, exactly, Rahel. Across the state, people have been coming up to state parks to find entrances blocked and signs like this one along the road. Meanwhile, Governor Chris Christie has ordered lawmakers back to work today for a special session. This after he and his family spent Sunday enjoying a beach at a state park that he ordered closed to the public due to the budget showdown. I'm, I'm pissed off. Thousands of people like Jennifer Bate had to change their Independence Day weekend plans last minute, turned away from the more than 50 New Jersey state parks and recreation areas over the weekend. It's a holiday weekend. What about all the kids that had birthday parties and paid to rent to have a barbecue here? It's not fair. Friday, Republican Governor Chris Christie ordered the partial government shutdown that closed the parks and other non-essential services, a hardball move to get Democratic lawmakers to bend to his will. Here we are at an impasse. Government is closed over a transparency and accountability fight. I'm at a loss. Democrats are split over the governor's proposal to overhaul the state's largest insurer, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield. Christie says he will line item veto any Democratic budget that doesn't come alongside the passage of his bill. Christie's administration has gone as far as printing posters placing the blame for the shutdown on General Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto. In his refusal to post the Horizon bill for a vote by his fellow elected assembly members has impacted the state of New Jersey and its residents unnecessarily. Prieto says he'd like to work on a compromise bill on Horizon after a state budget is passed. That is cement in the sand for me. It will be after we pass a budget that we will look at a bill like that that could potentially affect 3.8 million residents of the state of New Jersey. Meanwhile, New Jerseyans are already feeling a different impact. No state parks, lottery, or motor vehicle services until lawmakers come to an agreement. Oh, it just makes you think that the whole system's a joke. And state lawmakers will reconvene in Trenton at 10 a.m. to get working back on this budget. But for now, we're live from Parvin State Park. I'm Trying Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel, back to you.